This time on Bulletproof Tactical, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Marlin 336W. We did a review on an 1870, also a 336, also chambered in 3030. Uh, this one has the micro groove barrel, the other one didn't have it. So I told you guys I was going to try to get my hands on a micro groove barrel. Here we have it, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the differences. Continue watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with today's review. I promised you guys a micro grooved barrel and here we have it. Would you look at that guys? Great, great looking rifle, fine, fine lever action. Let's go ahead and do a safety check before we continue. You guys can see, clear, nothing in the mag tube. Let's go ahead and continue. You guys can see this also has the JM stamped barrel, very important. I know a lot of people do not like these rifles if they do not have the JM stamped on the barrel. And uh, let's go ahead and talk a bit about this firearm, uh, the model 336W. So what are the main differences? You guys can see the, the previous 336 we reviewed, the model 1870 had the waffle top, which basically are some grooves along the, the top of the, of the chamber right here. And you guys can see this one is actually drilled and tapped for a scope as opposed to the other one that had the waffle top, which I personally like the waffle tops better. But then again, we also get the nice walnut stock right here with checkering. Has a couple dings here and there, but overall great condition. The bluing on the rifle you guys can see is in great condition. And uh, one thing I really like about these firearms is that they come with a gold trigger something I think makes the, the lever action stand out immediately. I think it looks really, really great. You guys can see we had a Williams peep sight on the other one. We do have our regular adjustable sight in the rear. On this one, this one does have the factory sights. They have not been swapped out. Let's go ahead and give you guys some specs. We are gonna get a total of a 20 inch, once again, micro grooved barrel. You guys can see uh, micro groove barrel right here basically the micro groove barrel has really really fine rifling which is supposed to improve accuracy and I've also heard a lot of people say cleaning these rifles with a micro groove rifling on the barrel makes cleaning the rifle much easier than you would with a standard rifling on the barrel so Definitely uh, a nice positive side to this rifle is that we do get the JM stamp barrel and it's also a micro groove. That obviously helps the value tremendously. Also this rifle has been uh, very, very well taken care of so that's going to help. Let's go ahead and take a close up and uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with some more specs. Once again, we do get a 20 inch barrel. We do get a five round mag tube. Once again, this one is chambered in 3030. Uh, we also get, once again, uh, drilled and tapped for scope, you guys can see. Uh, once again, the gold trigger, if you guys can get a focus on that. We do get a nice walnut stock with checkering. And uh, the overall length of the firearm comes to be 38.5 inches and comes up to a total of 7 pounds. So you guys can see, not that heavy. This one also has the mounting points for a sling. They've already put um, the, the connectors here so you can go ahead and put the sling of your choice. So really, really attractive rifle. I told you guys I was gonna try to get the, the micro uh, groove barrel and here we have it. So let's go ahead and do less talking. I know you guys are anxious to uh, have this barrel tested. A lot of people say it improves accuracy. Other people say it's really unnoticeable. But nevertheless, it was something that was really high tech back in the day done to these rifles. Really, really uh, focused on attention to detail. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys what I think about the micro group barrel.
Continue watching. All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. Bulletproof Tactical, you cheap skated us. You only shot three rounds. Unfortunately, I was unable to get more rounds. I couldn't find anything. Uh, I only had three rounds laying around, so I said, heck, why not? Let's just go ahead and uh, use what we have. I shot three rounds. Obviously, it's accurate. Uh, without a scope, I obviously had to zoom in on my targets to see exactly where it was hitting. But, you know, I'm not going to say it's... It's tremendously uh, better to have the micro groove barrel. Obviously, you need to do some very, very uh, technical um, shooting and, uh, you know, to see if you actually get a better result, a better group. For the type of shooting I did, this barrel works perfectly fine. But I know as far as collector value goes, once again, these rifles are growing in value big time. Uh, once again, JM stamped micro groove barrel these are all things people are looking for nowadays they want to hold something that's going to go up in value and i think these are very attractive rifles that are climbing up in value and maybe good investments if you're into rifles so once again that's not financial advice it's just my personal opinion let me know what you guys think about this video please hit that subscribe button like the video leave a comment and uh, i'll reply to you guys as soon as possible thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one